Hello and welcome. This presentation is an explanation of the triangle of self-obsession. When we are born, we are conscious only of ourselves. Our perception is limited to our basic needs, and if these needs are met, we are content. As our consciousness expands, we become aware of the world around us. We begin to realize there are people, places, and things that will fulfill our needs. Soon, we recognize that there are differences. We develop preferences. We learn to want and choose. Our source of contentment turns from getting our basic needs met to the fulfillment of our desires, needs versus wants. Most children come to realize that the outside world cannot provide them with all of their needs and wants. They begin to supplement what is given to them with their own efforts. As their reliance on people, places, things begins to diminish, they become more self-sufficient. They look inward for contentment and happiness. They accept their strengths and weaknesses. They mature. For most people, growing up is a natural process. Many people falter on the path to natural maturity and growth. They never seem to obtain the level of self-sufficiency that others do. They depend on the world to supply their wants and needs and cannot accept the notion that all will not be provided. Many don't attain that certain level of contentment and happiness. Instead, we become increasingly demanding of our wants and needs We confuse one for the other, and the ability to fulfill our own desires diminishes, and finally just disappears. To be replaced with a triangle of self-obsession, resentment, anger, and fear. Our character defects are forms of these three reactions this is a cycle of self-defeating behavior. Resentment is the way many of us react to the past. Anger is how we deal with the present. And fear is what we feel when we contemplate the future. This is how we respond when people, places and things do not live up to our demands. There is a way out. We need to come to a place within us where we can accept the past. Change our anger into love, love of who we are and the gift of now that we have. And transform our fear into faith because we cannot predict the future. Faith is often our strongest tool. When we can start to make these changes, self-obsession fades away and we begin to make positive choices.